Hello. Sebastian, we miss you, Sebastian. <laughs> Sebastian, give me a hug, I miss Sebastian. you, uh, oh, big hug, big, big hug. hug. Everybody, Paul and Miski coming back at you today. We are on location at the 2020 Toronto Woodworking Show in partnership with Atlas Tools. We're in their booth. We got 10 feet, 40 foot long. Hope you come down. So much to see here. Everywhere, the stuff everywhere. See you soon. All right, so we're running around. It's really busy here. People are asking us questions left and right. In about 40 minutes, I'm going to be on center stage talking all about epoxy pours talking about our table stiffeners as well as the Rampa Tech threaded inserts and we're going to be doing a little bit of power carving on stage so we'll see how that goes 11 30 12 30 I'll be on there and you know what I'm not ready yet so I gotta go hey Greg how are you hey, good how are you doing See, oh, I broke my wrist <laughs> well, what do we got here won't break your toes what do we got here Oh, isn't that awesome? So these are the lights we've got. Fantastic. Isn't that great? I really appreciate it, man. Okay. Most comfortable, most comfortable safety gear I've ever had. So lightweight, it's flexible. It's exactly. I love it. I love it. Thanks a lot, man. Cheers. Over there. Yeah, I you think I'm like supposed to be on. It's for yes, the stage in thing. Like three minutes. Uh, oh how can I help God. you guys get over? Uh, good question. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what I need to bring. Where is it? Um, I thought I was supposed to be on stage at 11:30. It's actually supposed to be 11 o'clock, and it's 11 o'clock right now. So I'm getting everything. Then I the sanded one. And all these people are waiting. That? Yeah, that works. Can you hear in the back? Wave to me. We can hear. Hey, it's Justin from Canadian Woodworks. We're here at the Toronto Woodworking Show 2020. And we've got an audience starting to assemble here and we're going to do an epoxy pour. So keep following along. Maybe we'll let a lucky person in the audience pick the color and we'll keep going. Through our planers, we sand it with our sanders, we run it through our table saws, okay. all of that. So, so our B. So this is a two to one ratio. You want it to be translucent? Do you want to see through it? Do you want to see a lot of action and swirls? So we we can mix we can mix a bunch of colors together. So yeah, we'll do that. Red swirl. We'll do a red swirl. Uh, Fifty-five. Fifty-five. So drill with a helix mixer. Good. Okay. Exactly. Some people have a bin, or not a bin, but like a form built where you pour all your leftover in and But as the heat starts working together. All right, we're back, and we just had the epoxy pour done by Justin. Did a fantastic job. We got to introduce the man, the man himself. He's behind Chemtech Epoxy Coatings out of Quebec. What can you say? What can you say about this? Well, uh, we're pleased to be here first. Thanks uh, to Legacy Lumber uh, to have uh, provided the opportunity to uh, introduce the product. So we're basically bringing three products today. So we got the Chem Natural, which is going to be a top coating. Uh, product, something to fill small voids and so on. Yeah, then we you have got a the casting chem cast. product, yep. the chem cast we just used, and then you got the tick pour product, which is going to be the chem tick. Uh, the advantage three of inches. this product exactly is that the chem tick at three inches, up to 45 liters, uh, will give you a clear um, casting effect. Uh, you can cast up to one inch with the chem cast, 
and up to a quarter inch with the Chem Natural. Uh, of course, we also have 20, 21 different metallic pigments here um, today, and we also have upwards of 20 solid colors for you guys. We got so special right now, 85 grams, 20 bucks. Shop that price, you can't be beat. Not only that though, the quality. You gotta talk about the quality. The this quality of the product, of course. Uh, we've been working on this pro project for more than a year. Uh, we've looked at the competition and we've also listened to what the people, the users, the end users wanted. Uh, people like Paul right here and plenty of uh, woodworkers. So uh, we've adapted our product, uh, not only in terms of quality, but also in terms of price. Uh, because epoxy was uh, getting a little bit expensive and things were getting a little bit out of hand. Uh, of course, we're always going to be up there uh, in terms of quality, but uh, Chemtech Coatings is an epoxy manufacturer. We're, we're specialized in epoxy. We've been in business for more than 15 years, so uh, we've always been manufacturing epoxy. This is really a niche market for us. Uh, it's not big volumes, but we're happy to be in this business because we really liked it. We really like it and uh, enthusiastic about it. And Justin says I do all the talking. <laughs> so Hamid, I want to say thank you. Thanks, Paul. We're proud to be part of this. Uh, these products designed for wood also. Yes. Starting from the ground up with the best possible products going into them. And not only that, you know, 25 to even 50% cheaper than the competition. And we've got things coming for 2020. Plenty of surprises, don't worry. Woo! All right, cool. So what do you think? Best. This is your first pour with the Chemtech product? Yeah, no, I'm thrilled with it. Like, if you look at the colors, it's gonna keep changing. We're gonna keep an eye on it, see what happens to it, but... It's not hard yet? Oh! I need Started throwing it around I at people. That. I'm the guy in the shop that always touches the gooey stuff. Amy does that too, my wife. Yeah, the better stuff I have to refinish and re-pour. Um, so, Away from epoxy, we're gonna go make some sawdust over at the Cutsaw booth. Let's go carve a Maloof chair seat. Woo! Get it, Cutsaw here! Okay, we're gonna get into this uh, Maloof style chair seat, which I have carved uh, close to 500 of these. So let's see if I can remember how to do it. Let's get on with it. We got the Cutsaw flat wheel, original coating, very coarse. And of course, the DeWalt brushless angle grinder. The paddle, I love because it forces you to keep your hand here. Keep in mind, I don't have the guard on here. Don't necessarily recommend that, but if you do take it off, please be very, very careful. The number one tip I have to say about that is when you're carving and then you go and you wanna feel what you've just carved, this hand is the hand that's dangerous that you can easily overshoot this handle and you can touch your finger against this wheel. So very important that you come back in a controlled fashion. All right, let's make some sawdust. Ooh, that's unsafe. So you can see how this one I love because it doesn't have like six heads around it. It's all a carving wheel. It's a super aggressive sandpaper. So it doesn't want to dart or go anywhere. You can see how I can control that so easily. Yeah, what I'm doing is, it's got that, see that flat part of the wheel? I'm not digging at it with the very tip. I'm actually dropping that flat on there and then pulling back and just doing a little, a little like that. Overlap. Something like that. Spend a bit more time though. Cool, so I got a couple chairs over there too at my other booth that you can check out. <coughs> Desk mask recommended. <laughs> All right, so there's just a little taste in the carving of Maloof style chair seat. Of course, head back on my YouTube channel. I got all sorts of videos doing this, but I want to introduce you to Mike. How you doing? From Cuts All. Uh, yep, located just north of Detroit here. Uh, we made the journey to Toronto for the show. Uh, Paul's been, demoing, been nice enough to demo some uh, seats for us. Uh, been around for 60 years. It's been nice to- Hold on. Yeah. 60? 60 years. Yeah. 60 years. Family company. That's actually my brother over there. What did you what did you do 60 years ago? 60 years ago, we actually started uh, selling bits to uh, coal miners in the coal industry. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, and then all of a sudden, uh, they used those same bits for decoy carving, um, and then the wood carvers uh, took off from there, and here we are. Sweet. Nice. Cuts all has been terrific support to me. Uh, I used the same wheel for about five years, and then uh, they realized I was on Instagram, and the whole social media <laughs> thing came on. 
And then one day Christmas came around and I got a box from these guys of all new carving wheels. And I was like, kid in a candy store. I didn't even know all these things existed. Because <laughs> at the time I bought it from Lee Valley yep. and they only had the one gray wheel. Yep. So I didn't know about everything else. They have a rotary, I call it a rotary rasp, but it's a burr, I guess, a ball nose burr. Yep. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Yeah, Michael grab it, grab it right now. And other than the wheel that I use here, there it's my go-to. All of my chair joints, I blend in with this, this in an air die grinder. It just works so, so fantastic. And one of the best things I like about these products, they basically don't wear out. No, they, they'll last you for many, many years. Yeah, take yeah. Care of them, keep them off the floor, keep them away from a rock or a nail. Last you for years. When I first started sanding or grinding, even you, you know, a sanding flap wheel or whatever, and you're you're throwing those out and, and all different ways. And also the safety of this, I think, is is the main thing. I have a lot of people come to my chair courses yep. who have never touched a piece of wood. They're not woodworkers, and I feel confident giving this to them in their hands. Oh, yeah. And they're going to really arrive to a pretty much perfect seat. Yeah, the, the random nature of the teeth really make them very smooth and easy to operate. Um, you can go with or against the grain, you can go on and hit a knot, yeah. it won't matter. Yeah, it's really nice, really nice. So I, so, I want to say thanks for your support, yeah, man. Thank you really too. Appreciate uh, it. We'll be here all weekend. Uh, Atlas uh, Tools and Machinery is carrying some great deals, so get on up here and uh, enjoy the show. Sweet. All right. Thanks, man. So thanks everyone for tuning in. This is a small recap of the 2020 Toronto Woodworking Show in partnership with Atlas Tools. I want to say thanks to the team here at Canadian Woodworks Legacy Lumber and all of you for watching. Thanks very much. Have a great one. Make it a great one. Make it. See ya. See ya. James. Pretty good. Thanks. Hey. Good. <laughs> for 2000. Give me. Aaron, active Rockwood area. All there and learned about it. So hope you enjoy that. Thanks everyone.